Yeah, disappointment that he hasn't got the snooker. But it's still quite awkward for Ronnie here. He would have preferred to have been in behind the black, of course. Ronnie able to play that one. And he's played this really well. Oh, what about this? Oh, dear me. What a time to play one of those. I mean, that's where Matthew wanted to be, but what a shot that is from Ronnie O'Sullivan. This is the problem, isn't it? You know, Ronnie O'Sullivan is not just a great potter and break builder. He's got an excellent tactical game as well. He's got a, a first-rate snooker brain, full stop. Yes, and he's gradually got all the reds away from the cushions, hasn't he? Just look where they are now. I mean, Matthew knew straight away when he didn't get the snooker that this could happen. And look at this. He's in trouble. Big trouble here. Plenty on for Ronnie if he gets the chance. Caught the red. He just clipped it on the way through, but he's left things on. Well, a little bit of a bonus there with the yellow going towards the side cushion. It's not dead safe, but it's better in there than it was before. But that wonderful snooker that Ronnie laid is giving himself this chance. He's just checking the scoreboard regards colours with reds. one there the blue looks like it goes as well so you could play that one and come down for pink or black he's got some wriggle room here that's why he's trying to do the calculations him 41 behind so he needs 42 off these last three reds and colors five 15 off three reds six <laughs> Matt hasn't been his strong point this afternoon has no. it <laughs> <laughs> to send an abacus out there yeah Well, the only little bit of insurance here for Matthew is that yellow. Yellow. But uh, it's a few inches off that side cushion. Twelve. Just float the cue ball between the brown and the green. Well, I was just looking at Matthew in the chair there. When he, when he tried to get him behind the black and he didn't, and uh, he thought, well, that was a, a, a missed opportunity there to put Ronnie in trouble. And then we knew what happened. A wonderful laid snooker from Ronnie. Eight. Slow down, slow down. Needs to slow down a bit. Ooh, does he have the angle to cannon the yellow? We can get him behind it. Still working them out. Needs them all. Dead straight on the yellow. Can get back for the green. 24. <laughs> Depends on the cannon. It's nice. Oh. Dear me, that could have gone anywhere, really. What a cannon that is. And he knows that this frame is now over. Yes, it was a nice nudge, but it was a nice snooker 29. to start with from O'Sullivan. And this would be, I think, a very important frame to win because it puts distance from Matthew Stevens, who was looking to 33. close the gap. 
And was looking good to do that at one stage. And I just wonder, well, we might get a little bit of a reaction off Ronnie here because he knows the importance of this frame. When he's trying to play that black, when he didn't need to play a couple of frames ago, he was in the zone. He, his calculations are all wrong. So that's how hard he was trying. But I just wonder, he'll know the importance of this frame. Well, he does need this black, and he's going to pot it for sure. Big frame to win for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Put Matthew Stevens in a devilish snooker. And eventually, he's made the clearance. So Ronnie O'Sullivan, two frames from the quarterfinals. He leads by four frames to one.